So we have the volume is already 420 cubic units, so U cubed. And then let's look at our change in dimension. One dimension is halved. The other one is reduced to one third. And then the third remains unchanged. So let's write the formula. We have length, width, and height. I'm gonna change all of that. One dimension has been halved. So if I take half of the length, and then the width has been one third, right? One third the width. And then our height is how many? Just itself? And then let's see about multiplying something out and bringing it to the front. What is one half times one third? One sixth. Okay, one over six, and I'm gonna put length, width, and height. Isn't 420 basically length times width times the height? So all you have to do is take 420 divided by six. Is 42 divisible by six? By how many? So we have 70 units cubed. And that will be our final answer. Because length times width times the height is the volume, just kind of take that outside on the side. Can you also go over number 18? 18, of course. Okay, on number 18. Sadie, go ahead and read that one, please. Suppose the volume of the cube is 54 cubic centimeters. What would be its new volume? Volume is 1 of its dimensions. Dimension was half, and the second dimension was doubled, and the third dimension was not changed. Okay, so we have the volume of a cube. For teaching purpose, I'm going to write E times E times E, because each individual is going to um, change. Are we okay with that? Okay, so it says... Uh, one dimension is half, so we have half of the E. Second one is doubled, so we have two times E. The third did not change, that just the E. If I were to do the, do the exact same thing, what would happen to one half and two? So I basically have E times E times E. Isn't that the original formula? So it is still 54 root three centimeters cubed. Because when you have something and then double it, they cancel each other out, okay? So do we have enough info to do number 16? Most likely.